Alrighty, everybody. FCS second round plus the SWAC championship here. Um, yeah, we what what a day of FCS football. That what a well, last two days. What a last two days of FCS football we got. We got we got mostly blowouts, but you know there there were some thrillers. A couple of these games ended up being thrillers, and a couple that did not. Well, we saw the SWAC Championship game first. The SWAC Championship in which Juwan Pass and the Prairie View A&M Panthers go up against Jackson State in Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium. And, um, yeah, despite the fact that the Panthers played the Tigers pretty close, Juwan Pass got picked off by James Houston for a pick six from, like, two yards out, in which it, it was an incredible pick six that I saw like I, I really didn't think he caught it at first you know but he caught it and took that sucker into the end zone at J and Jackson State is going to the Celebration Bowl to take on South Carolina State in two weeks on ABC because you know you can't have the FCS championship on ABC you can have the Celebration Bowl on ABC you know it's a two-way street when it comes to how you know, ESPN treats the FCS. I mean, it just is what it is. You know. But I, I, I was going to have more of a rant here because, you know, honestly, the the elitism by my fellow my fellow African Americans, you know, when it comes to the HBCU pride is a little it's a little bit too much. And I don't want it to come off as abrasive or anything like that because, again, you know, you have people asking, why isn't Jackson State in the playoffs? And you know why. Swack has had a championship game for over 20 years now. Why can't we get this through our thick skulls? Swack has had a championship game for over 20 years. You can get a large bids in, not the champions themselves. The Celebration Bowl is there for a reason. Money. TV, you know, on an actual television network, not ESPN News or something like that. Money, actual over-the-air television, which people, which more people can see the game, you know, and HBCU Pride, you know, it is what it is. So Jackson State, you better beat South Carolina State in two weeks, because if you don't, I'm going to laugh because, you know. I said what I said in week zero, and, you know, if, if things, you know, if all this smack talk by the swack goes completely wrong once again, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. You know, it is what it is. So why don't we get into the games from Friday for the second round as we get past the SWAC championship. We'll talk more about the swack, the MEAC, when it comes to the Celebration Bowl in two weeks. So... Stick around for that. Holy Cross took on Villanova in one of the Friday night games. And Holy Cross, you know, Matthew Sluke and company, they had a valiant effort. But Nova was able to just get over the hump. They barely survived this game. You know, it was not easy. Not an easy game for Villanova. Not an easy one at all. So, you know, Nova's going to the second round. And they will host the second round game. But we'll talk about the game that just finished, you know, last here. Um, and the other Friday night game in which Eastern Washington took on Montana. And remember, Eastern Washington was pretty angry, you know, about, um, yeah, you know, not getting a seed. Yeah, they weren't They weren't happy about that. So what happened in this game? Eric Berry, five touchdowns. Commendable. Absolutely stupendous. But there were special teams errors by Eastern Washington some bad special teams errors and usually special teams errors do not go too well cam humphrey added three touchdowns the trio backs also had three touchdowns and in a basketball type score 57 41 the grizz those grizzlies are moving on to the quarterfinals so you know it is what it is there and then on saturday a thriller in which kennesaw state took on eastern East Tennessee State, not Eastern. I know a lot of people make that mistake. I just made that mistake myself. But East Tennessee State, they they they, they got dominated by a backup quarterback for quite a while. Quite a while. Jonathan Murphy came in for an injured Xavier Shepard, put up four touchdowns by himself for Kennesaw. But if it weren't for those late game heroics by Tyler Riddell 
you know, two late TDs. One of them went to Will Huzzy, the other because, you know, the other went to two Quay Holmes. I mean, this was just an insane, insane ending to this game. ETSU got a touchdown, got the onside, got another touchdown, and then got the two-point conversion and won this game. Stunner. You know Kennesaw is going to be feeling that one for a while. I mean, they ha Again, Kennesaw State has has the balls to compete. So other teams intent to slack who have that elitism in them do not. So, my goodness, what a game this was. Cannot cannot over overstate how fun that was. Um, Southeast Louisiana, though, against James Madison. Southeast Louisiana, who beat FAMU by, like, 30 by like what 30 points also got beat by f about 40 Cole Johnson had five touchdowns five of them Diamante Tucker Dorsey I hope I'm saying his first name correctly because I get names wrong all the time but Tucker Dorsey picked off Cole Kelly twice one of them was a pick six the other play he made was a strip sack fumble you know three turnovers forced by this man at JMU of course they're going on to the quarterfinals a lot of people picked them to go to the quarterfinals they take care of business unfortunately for Sela's defense they just couldn't stop them they just couldn't stop the Dukes tough tough break there incarnate word Sam Houston what a barn burner this was. Cam Ward had five touchdowns. I mean, this Sam Houston team barely hung on. They barely hung on. Eric Schmidt had three touchdowns. Ramon Jefferson, Noah Smith, they helped Sam Houston get over 300 yards rushing. Sam Houston barely, just barely sneaks by Incarnate Word. You know Incarnate Word is going to be really really angry about this result they they played their hearts out they're losing I believe they're losing one of their coaches I believe they're losing their head coach to an offensive coordinator position if I'm not mistaken I forgot where um, yeah tough break there tough break and then Southern Illinois of course they get they get blown up by North Dakota State so obviously the rat poison you know just like the rat poison that Nick Saban's called yummy the rat poison for North Dakota State, you know, that beat writers and stuff writing about all week about the game in the spring, that that did not matter. 300 yards plus rushing for the Bison. Take a gear business. They go to the quarterfinals easily. Montana State. Oh boy, they didn't have to do they didn't have to do that. Tennessee Martin with Isaiah Fonze and Tommy Mellett both running for over 100 yards. Both of these guys combined for three touchdowns and Tennessee Martin their defense you know just could not hold up very well. They couldn't hold up but Montana State's defense did. The Bobcats only allow seven points at Montana State they're going to the quarterfinals. And the last game, which just finished up, you know, not even like 20 to 30 minutes ago, South Dakota State. They beat the seeded number four Sacramento State Hornets. Isaiah Davis ran for over 100 yards, two touchdowns, and despite the fact that, you know, the Jackrabbits had to survive a, a comeback attempt by Sacramento State, you know, they were up 24 to nothing, but they win 24-19. South Dakota State, you know, another team that's favored, you know, despite the fact that they're not seeded, you know, to win this FCS championship. And that kind of performance right there is how you do it. You know, dominant first half, you know, a little shaky in the second half, but, you know, it is what it is. And so the quarterfinals, they're set now. They're set. Montana State will go to Sam Houston. East Tennessee State will go to North Dakota State. Montana will go to James Madison, and South Dakota State will go to Villanova. So the quarterfinals are set. I'm excited because finally I get to actually see the games. You know, I don't get to just, you know, look at highlights and stuff like that. Um, yeah. What a, what a day of college football. 
let's do this again. Um, FCS quarterfinals, again, they'll be combined with the Army-Navy game video, so that, they'll all, all five of these games will be together. So, I cannot wait for Tuesday. Cannot wait for Tuesday. I'll tell you all about what these five games will have entailed for them then. And I'll see you all in, in the morning, in about less than 12 hours for the um, college football playoff, you know, all that stuff. Yeah. See you soon, everybody.